Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, and uh, this is our very last coaching call of uh, 2017 because of the holidays next week. And I am joined with uh, Alex. Alex, you there? Yes, I am. How's it going, everyone? And uh, you guys, hey, there's a bunch of you there, and we have some guests today, too. And uh, Joe, I'm sorry, I didn't want to miss Jessica. Jessica, can you say hello? Good morning, everybody. Um, hey, Mark, how you doing? He said, good morning. Everybody post in there where you're from, because we got some guests in here today. I allowed some people from the outside who are not DCA members to join us today, so you can kind of get a peek into uh, what we're doing here. Today is really, I, I think, an awesome call, and not because I'm do, doing it, but because the information is so good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mark's from Missouri. Johan Johnny's Ban. I don't know the rest of that name. You said, hi, guys. Where are you from? Kind of interesting there. Uh, we got Texas. We got Sarasota, Florida. Um, yeah, we've got some people from around the world here. It would be interesting to see what countries you guys are from. Um, it's like Lithuania there. Uh, looks like South. What is this here? South Africa. Johan's from South Africa. Very cool. Everybody, somebody's saying they're getting ready for the holidays. Yeah, I mean, I really appreciate you showing up today. I didn't think anybody's going to show up today, but apparently we've got a, a full house, which is really, really cool that you guys took time out. But, you know, sometimes you got to do that. You got to do, you know, a little bit more than the average person who's just kind of sitting at home. So today is going to be um, all about Facebook ads. And uh, I want you to feel free to post any questions in there. You know, as we go through this, Jessica and... Um, Alex and myself are going to be answering your comments, but I do want to go ahead and get started so I don't keep you here too long. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to pull up some information here. And we're going to get started with the actual, uh, what we got here? All right. Let's everybody see my screen. If you can see the screen there, let me know. Just say, I can see your new screen. It should say Facebook ads now, guys. Do you see that on there? Not yet. Yeah, Aver says he hmm. or he sees it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's popping up now. Yes, Jack says it. Linda says it. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, we are going to go over Facebook ads. Now, I will tell you, if you've ever tried to do Facebook ads before, you would have to agree that they're frustrating, they're confusing, they're complicated. But we're going to try to go through all of this so it makes sense to you and just take it step by step and if you don't understand something you can just go back through it again so it's that simple so first off we have to have had a couple things accomplished before we start a facebook ad and the first thing is we need to set up a business page so we assume that you've already set up your business page that has to have already been done or you can't run ads um, you would just be running them from yourself instead of the business, and that's not what you want to do. The next thing you have to do is set up a business account, which means you're going to have to put in some form of credit card, some form of payment, so that you can pay for your Facebook ads. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're you're ready to go at that point. So to get to Facebook ads, there's 50 million different ways to get there, but we're going to do it real simply. We're just going to type in facebook.com forward slash business. And this is the page you're going to come to right here. So on this page, there's really a lot of information here. It looks simple, but there is a lot of information. You can hover over any of these spots here, like here's ads. And if you notice, I hover over ads here. I can have some choices here. I can choose an audience, uh, choose a goal, choose a budget. Uh, I can you know, choose my format here, video, canvas, collection, carousel, slideshow. But all of these things actually can be done in the ad itself. So I don't ever do anything from here. The best thing to do from here is, you know, get whatever information you want out of it. You have some success stories here, which is kind of interesting. So you can go through some of the success stories and read them. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here and create ad. Now, you notice they have a create page and a create ad because they're trying to say, hey, you have to create a page before you can create an ad. But let's go over to the create ad and let that load.
okay, so you're going to come to a page like this, but you want to be careful because like we have several different accounts. You want to go over here to this drop down and you want to select the account that matches where you want to advertise from. So we're going to select this first account right here. Now let's look at this, this page a little bit and we'll decide what's going on. Now, if you notice off to the left, you have three things. You have campaign, and this is your objective. So maybe you're doing a free plus shipping book, or maybe you're trying to sell a necklace or whatever it is. That's what, what is set in here. The next is gonna be your ad set, okay? So in your ad set, you're going to be setting your traffic, what your offer is, who your audience is, what your placements are, and your budget and schedule. That's what's set in an ad set. Now, within the ad set, you actually have ads. So we're going to have the identity, the format, the media, and the links in the actual ad itself. Now, keep in mind, when you get into the ad here, you cannot change your audience. Your audience has changed in your ad set. And I know I was confused by that when I first used it. So understand that your audience is set in the ad set. And once it's set, that's the audience for all the ads within that ad set. So you can't alter that whatsoever. Now, when you go over to the center here, you're going to find your marketing objectives. If you don't know what these are, if you hover over them, this little in, the information symbol here, it's going to say, well, this one here is to increase awareness for your brand by reaching people who are more likely to be interested in it. I would not do this one unless you have a pretty well-known brand. I've never used this one, but it is available to you. The next one is reach, and that just gets your ad to the max number of people. That doesn't mean it's going to convert. That doesn't mean it's going to be any good. It doesn't mean you're going to make any money. It just means a lot of people are going to see it. So I don't normally use this one either. The next one is consideration. So if I just wanted to get traffic to a destination or an app or wherever, I would use traffic. And I got to tell you, I don't use traffic. Uh, next one is engagement. Now these are these are people that are it's going to be shown to that are most likely to like it or to put comments or something like that. So sometimes when you run an ad, you may want to run an engagement campaign first to that particular post. That way it'll have a lot of likes and shares and comments so that when you run an ad to it, where you're trying to get some conversions, which we'll talk about in just a second, people see that people are already engaged with it and they think that's pretty cool. Um, this one here is for app installs if you're trying to get apps installed. This is for video views. If all you care about is people viewing your video, they're going to send it out to people who watch a lot of videos, if that's your thing. Now, this one here is lead generation. This here is going to drive more leads, such as email address, people interested in your brand or business. So if you're trying to generate just leads that you're going to market to later, then that's the one you would want to use. And this one here, of course, is to get more people to send messages to your business in Messenger. So these are people that are very interactive with messages. Now, over here under conversion, these are where you really get people to do some action. So drive valuable actions on your website or app. So a conversion would be somebody who actually purchased something. And you're going to set up a pixel, which we'll talk about in just a second, to count those conversions and see how well they're going. Uh, next one is product catalog sales. So if you have a catalog you want to send people to, you would use this one. We more often not use the conversion right here. And if you just want people to visit your store, you know, you know, let's say you have a brick and mortar store and you want them to show up at a certain time or you have a big sale there, you would use store visits. So for the purpose of this example, let's go ahead and pick conversions. And once I pick conversions, it's going to do a drop down here and it's going to ask me to uh, put in here what I want. So I'm going to say um, purchase necklace. So then I'm going to continue. Now what this is going to do is it's going to name our campaign so that our campaign is now set at purchase necklaces. So now I can always go back through, look at this campaign, know what it's about. I don't have to get into it a whole lot. Now, once you've picked your campaign, I'm down here in conversions. I have to pick my ad set name. So let's say this ad set name, we're just going to do one ad for this particular example, but let's say this was for a blue diamond necklace. Okay. And got that spelled wrong. Got to get that corrected. There we go. So we get that corrected. So this is blue diamond necklace. And our goal here would be to um, get conversions. So we want to set up our conversions. So right here, I just clicked in this box, if you notice, and these are pixels. And these pixels 
I will explain to it at a later date, but basically these control what you want these people to do. So if I wanted them to initiate checkout, I haven't been using these pixels on this account, so they're showing red. They'll show green if they've had recent traffic there. But uh, let's just scroll through here and we'll pick one. And what do we want? Add to cart. We're going to put purchase. We want a purchase pixel. So we're going to put that in there. Now, if you notice off to the right, it's starting to do some calculations here. Your audience is fairly broad. Yeah, I guess so. It's 230 million right now. So we're going to narrow that down in just a second and get something that is going to be a little bit more focused than that. So if I have a custom audience, I can click in here and I can choose from what one of those custom audiences was. And if I don't, I'm going to come down here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to target the geo. Okay, the geo is the location, geographic location of my particular customer. Now, let's say in this particular one, I only want to sell to people in the continental U.S. I've decided that Alaska and Hawaii are just too expensive to ship to, so I don't want to do it. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to click on this little arrow and I'm going to click exclude. And right in here, I'm going to type in Alaska. And that'll pop up and I select it. So what it'll do now is it will not show ads to people in Alaska. And I don't want to show it to Hawaii. I've determined that it costs too much to send there. So I'm going to select Hawaii. So now what this ad's going to do is it's going to show up for people on Facebook so far that are between the ages of 18 to 65 plus, which means 18 to whatever age they are. And um, that's my audience is still at 230 million people, way too big, right? So let's say this is for a younger person. Um, let's say my necklaces are very contemporary. So I'm gonna say 18 and I'm gonna go up to a 25 year old. So there's that. So I got 18 to 25, and let's say that necklace is only for women. So I'm going to click here. So now what I've done is I've gone from 230 million down to, as you can see, 23 million people. Okay, so it's a whole lot smaller than this ad. We know that 23 million people is way too many, right? So let's take a look at some of the other things we can do. Well, first off, let's target our audience a little bit. So let's say that this jewelry that we're selling, we sell to runners. So I'm going to put running in here. And let's say we want road runners. It looks like there's woo, a lot of those, 29 million people. So maybe that's a little bit too broad. Adidas long distance running. Let's pick long distance running here. Now, if you noticed, it still says 23 million people. Okay, that's crazy, right? We don't want 23 million people. Now, why would it do that even though we've switched we've switched from just a broad group of people and we put in long distance running? Why is it doing that? And this says 7.4 million. Here's why right here. And this is the thing that drives me nuts. And I've missed this many times. See where it says expand interest when it may increase conversions at a lower cost per conversion. What this does is this puts your ad on all kinds of ad networks. And there's always plenty of ad networks, so this number's not gonna go down. So you wanna make sure you always uncheck this box, which I'm doing right there now. Now, look at this, I'm down to 140,000 people. Wow, so now I actually need more people, right? We wanna to try to get somewhere close between maybe a half million and a million. And there is no set exact amount on this, but you know, keep in mind that, you know, that, that, that's a good starting point for you. So let's look at running and what else we can find. Um, who else we got? Let's say we uh, we want people who are competitive. So we're going to put competitive runners. And that brings us to 190,000. So it's still not enough. So let's see here. What else could we pick? And see, you got to be careful here. See, this is running man has nothing to do with running. So when you're typing in the words, make sure you know what you're adding to your list here, because this is a TV series, has nothing to do with that. And let's say we also want people who are into cross country running. And I know what that is, my son used to do that. And what else can we find here that looks interesting? Let's pick one more running category and let's see what we can find. Some of these are very, very broad. 
and let's see they're into trail running too. See what that does to our number. All right, so we're up to two and a half million, kind of big, but we can always start broad with this. So we've selected that. Now we can also come right here and select a connection. I've talked to people who have businesses and they say that, you know, some of these connections matter to them and their particular um, sales. So, you know, you can pick people who like your page, friends of people who like your page, exclude those. You can look at apps, events, people who responded to your event. So those are very targeted right there. Now, another thing we want to come to is right here. You have automatic placements recommended. Now, they recommend this because it's going to put it in a lot of places that you may not want it. So let's go back up here, and this will narrow things down a little bit for me, too. We're going to edit the placements. Now, you can figure out what works for you. We do not do well on Instagram, so I always uncheck the Instagram. And if you notice, that really knocked down the number of people here, right? And I also don't want the right column. I don't like the positioning there. And I don't want instant articles. I just want to have it in the news feed so it looks more generic. And we certainly don't want it on the audience network. So I'm going to take that off of there. We don't want the audience network. And we don't need Messenger. And you can play around with these. They don't work for us. The only thing that works for us is the news feed. So that's all that I'm going to suggest that you do. Now, you can look down here. And you can say specific mobile devices and operating systems. I don't get this specific, but you can actually pick Android, uh, you know, Apple, uh, feature phones only. You can pick only when they're connected to the Wi-Fi. And so that pretty much covers that. Now let's go down here, and we're going to pick our daily budget. And we're going to start it off with $5, okay? That's a good test amount. There we go. Went back to 20 for a second. He wanted me to spend more money. Uh, and I'm going to run it continuously starting today because I want to watch it. Now, you can do a start and end date if you can't watch it. It also tells me that I'm going to be exposed to spending $35 a week, which is fine. And I'm conversions. And that's all good. Bit amount, I do automatic. You can get into manual. And I've talked to people that spend, you know, a million dollars a month, and they're really in there tweaking all this stuff. But I think for the beginner, you want to go with automatic, and Facebook's going to try to optimize this for you. And um, so that's good. Yeah. So now we're going to move on here and we're going to move to the actual ad. So I'm going to continue here. Now you have a choice of a carousel and a carousel is an ad with two or more scrollable in images or videos. You can do a single image, which create up to six ads with one image, each at no extra charge. You can do a single video if you want. You could also do a slideshow where you're creating a looping video with up to 10 images. Okay, that's that's pretty interesting. And then you could do a collection. We're going to keep this really simple. Oh, yeah. And one other thing I want to mention here, you want to make sure this drop down matches the page that you want to advertise from. And if you don't have one, it'll even let you, you can click this button here and you can create a new page right here. But we've already created a page. We know how to do that. But that's that's another spot if you wanted to create another page. And if you want to add Instagram placement, you could do that. Um, if I wanted to use an existing post, I could go up here and click this button. And I could find an ad that I've already run. Um, this here is for the Digital Cash Academy here. You can see that. And that's an ad that ran for that. And uh, let's go back here, though. We're going to actually create an ad because that's what we want to help you do. All right, so let's look down here, and we have free stock images. So Facebook actually provides all these images, and, you know, they're usually pretty good because, you know, they're tested. The only problem is if it doesn't match, you know, exactly what, you know, you want to do in your ad, then you have a problem. So, you know, we kind of stay away from these. I go back to my image library here. So these are all pictures that we've uploaded. Um, and we'll pull one here from Digital Cash Academy, and we'll stick that in there. Of course, that is my course, the Digital Cash Academy. So we're going to stick that one in there. And here is where you're going to put your website URL. So in this particular one, we're going to put in, we're going to put in Digital Cash Academy in there, and I'm going to hit Enter. Now, it's going to immediately check to see if that is a valid URL. If it's not valid, it's not going to accept it. Okay, it says it is valid, and this is a promotion for my webinar right here. 
So, and then in text here, it says, uh, and I'm, I'm not doing really good text here. I'm just going to type something in. I'm going to just put come to my webinar. And this is the text. You will love it. It's great. Now, of course, I would never really type something like this, but just for the purpose of the example. And as you see, this is appearing right here as I type it. Now, let's look down here in the headline, and I'm going to put learn to do e-commerce. And if you notice, now that pops up right here, and it's populated, learn to do e-commerce. Now, we have a choice right here on this button. You can have no button whatsoever. You can have book now, contact us, donate now, download get show times, learn more, listen now, or request time. So we're, we're going to go with the learn more. That's so that people can, of course, sign up. You can actually, actually put a different display link if you want right here. And you can put a news feed description if you'd like to do that here. I'm not going to do any of that. So, yeah, we've got everything in there. We've got our budget in there. And let's go ahead and confirm. Okay. So there it is. That is my ad. It's been confirmed. It's in review right now. So I'm going to go back and cancel that ad because I don't really want to run that ad. But that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Keep in mind, people who run these ads, and I, I just got back from a big meeting in Bangkok, Thailand, and I talked to people who spend a million dollars a month, a million dollars a month in ads, and they all said the same thing. The majority of their ads failed. And I know that's discouraging to hear, but the good part is some of them always did do well. And when I say fail, I don't mean completely failed where they got no traffic, they got no sales. I mean that if they ran 10 ads, seven of them didn't perform as good as they wanted to. Now, maybe two or three of them were terrible. You know, maybe another two or three did okay, and another one did okay, but they weren't as good as the top two or three. So they would kill the other ads and stick with the top two or three. You have to be prepared to do this. You cannot expect to run two ads or three ads and to have winners. It's not going to work that way. You need to run 10 to 20 ads and you need to, you know, pit them against themselves with different pictures, different headlines, those type of things. And then you'll have some successes. So that pretty much wraps up how you run a Facebook ad. Let's go ahead and take some questions and uh, see if you have any questions about that. And we'll try to help you out with that. Okay, guys, you can. Uh, I'm, I'm answering these questions um, off to the side here. You guys have some great questions. I do appreciate it. Somebody's saying, How much ad budget should they spend? <laughs> you know, I'm, Alex and I are talking to a, a gentleman now, and, you know, at one, the first day he went to spend 10000 then 100000 then 500000 Today's up to $800,000. So, you know, that's great. <laughs> Alex, kind of funny, huh? Um, yeah. Uh, it's great if you have the money to do that, but you know, even if you had that money, and we're going to do the same thing with him, you want to start out small because you know the beginning ads that you do are all test. You know, you it's a whole lot better to start a whole bunch of ads at five or ten dollars and figure out which ones work, and then dump all your money in that ad. That's the way you do it. So it's not it's not starting off with a whole lot of money, and the beauty to that is. If you do a whole bunch of ads at five dollars and one of them takes off, you don't need to put more money in that ad because you can take the money you made off that ad and put it into more ads. So as far as the ad budget goes, start with five dollars. Now, the only caveat to that is don't do one five dollar ad today and then kill it in three days, another five dollar ad and kill it in three days. You need to do, you know. 10 to 20 different variations of that because otherwise you're not going to know. And when I say variations, don't vary every single thing on the ad. If you change the title, the image, and the offer, then <laughs> that doesn't do you any good. What you want to do is just do one variation at a time. So let's say you're selling a necklace. You may do the same ad, same landing page, but change out the picture, you know, for four or five of the different ads. Uh, and then the next one, you may just change out the title, you know, for four or five of the different ads. And then the last one, you may just change out the landing page, you know, for four or five of the different ads. So you don't want to you don't want to have 20 ads that are all, uh, you know, all entirely different because you won't know what thing worked. You won't know if it was a picture. You won't know if it was a title. You won't know any of that. So let me address some of these other questions in here. Uh, let's see here. 
somebody's asking, have you ever used the kit virtual assistant program on any of your stores? Do you know about that, Alex? Uh, I played around with it, but uh, yeah, basically it's uh, for, for those of you guys who are not familiar with that, it's like a, a Shopify kind of automated assistant and it can do a couple of automated things for you, uh, which is cool. But um, yeah, I think I've, I've installed it in the store too, but I'm not, not really using it that much. So if okay. you find it useful for you, then yeah, go ahead. That's, I, I think it's free. Sometimes people are surprised, like if Alex doesn't know about it or I don't know about it. Man, there's like new technology coming out by the hour. So, you know, just because we don't know that doesn't mean it's good or bad or, you know, anything. It just, it's new technology. You know, we try to stay on top of all of it. We do this every single day. We don't, you know, spend a day. I don't think Alex does either where you don't log on and see what's going on or look at something new. Yeah. Um, but, but also when these new things come out, I'm probably not the first one to adopt it just because I want to make sure it works first. I want to make sure that companies around. You know, I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to be the guy who, you know, lost a lot of money or data because I was the first guy to adopt something. I don't want to do that. All right. Mark says he gets that now. That's good. That's good. Let's see there's some other things here. What are the things that you cannot advertise on Facebook? Um, they have a section in there and they have prohibited items and you do not want to try to game this thing because they're really smart and they they they'll just take care of you by uh, canceling your account so you know but you know the, the obvious things are like smoking and you know drinking and fighting and hurting people and profanity and you know all that stuff you're you're not going to be able to do that all right somebody's asking me where can i advertise that stuff <laughs> well you can advertise it on native ads um get into a native ad network and basically what those do is those put ads on web pages all over the internet uh and there are a lot of those networks you know for people who want to you know claim some crazy stuff whether it be weight loss or you know this pill is going to make you smarter or any of that uh, facebook will not allow you to make claims so if you say my product does this or does that you're pretty much out of luck it's not going to run that, that ad's not going to happen um, they also, um, somebody's asking about, um, exercise and all that. Yeah. Another thing they won't let you do is a before and after. So you cannot have like this guy look like this before and now he looks like this. You cannot do before and after. So they will knock you down severely for that. Um, anything you can think of over there, Alex, that may be helpful to him on doing some of these ads that you've run across? Um, well, I think just the biggest thing is, uh, is testing out a lot of ads and I've seen someone in the group just post that I think it was Linda right so she ran about 16 ads or so yeah and I think uh, when she did that she finally saw some sales so I don't know her ROI wasn't that great but that doesn't matter like you see when when you start putting out ads like that you're gonna start getting sales so I think a lot of people where they get stuck is they just take two ads and they work hard on finding the product and creating the ad image and then it's very difficult for them to let go of it. So they spend, you know, ten, fifteen dollars doesn't work. They continue spending more and more money. And then I, I spoke to some of our uh, members, and they told me they spent about three hundred, four hundred dollars on ads. And I asked them, okay, how many ads did you test? And they said like five, six. So if you're going to spend that much money, you need to be testing, you know, thirty, forty uh, different variations of the ads. So you know, spend uh, a little bit of money on each ad. Don't overdo it and just create a lot of ads quickly and don't get too attached to your ads. It might sound funny, but because people put in a lot of work, they get attached to it and then it's difficult for them to, to click that button and pause the ad and move on to the next one. So that's the thing. If you're going to spend 300 bucks, then you should be able to test 40 ads or more. And if you do that, then chances are you are going to, to get some good results. So it's all yeah. about yeah, testing as much as possible. That is incredible advice because you know, we just came back from Bangkok and Alex was there with me and, you know, we listened to some of these guys who were spending a million dollars a month. Okay. That's a serious ad spend, but they will put up yeah. four or 500 ads and very, very small amounts of money. And, and you guys could do the same thing on a smaller scale, but what you do is you put 10 or 20 ads. Okay. And that sounds like a lot, but you're only going to run them for a day or two. So you're not going to spend a whole lot of money. Um, and then the ads that get some action, let's say you're trying to sell something and one or two of the ads get some sales, kill everything else, then take those two ads and make another eight or 10 of them with different images, 
and see what happens. If you get better results with that, kill all the rest of them, take those same two ads, make eight or 10 more and change, let's say the landing page. If you're not getting enough opt-ins, you're not getting enough sales. Once you get, you know, one or two or three of those doing well, then take them and kill the rest of them and then change the ad copy. That's how you're going to get a hot ad. Occasionally, you could run two ads and one of them just take off. But for the most part, it's going to be a systematic thing like what I just told you. You're just going to run a few ads and you're going to keep tweaking them and keep tweaking them. I'm getting a ton of questions coming in here. Let me see if I can get to the next one. Um, what about testing in the middle of the week? <laughs> that's, a, that's a great question because what you're saying is what is the best time of week to run? And I would say run it all week long and see if middle of the week was better for you. Does that make sense? I mean, as silly as that sounds, you know, you don't know until you know. I, I can't tell you and no expert could, you know, tell you exactly how to run your ads. Because if you go to an ad agency right now, and I know some of the really big ones in the world, and you say, hey, I want to run ads. They're going to say, OK, we're going to charge you 10 or 20 percent and we need an ad budget of 100,000 a month. And then they're just going to go out there and run 100 ads to see which ones work. They're going to do the exact same thing I'm telling you to do right now. It's just that they get paid for it because some people don't want to sit there and do it. Uh, Mark says about. I don't know what that means. Oh, maybe that's the end of the other one. Oh, he, oh I missed his other question here. It says, do you think page post ads are any good? I love them, Mark. I really do. Matter of fact, I'm running some right now. Um, I'm running one for a Trump coin, okay? Um, I have, a, for my food audience, I have a very conservative, Republican, uh, gun-toting, gun-right audience. So I found uh, this thing called a Trump coin, which is a uh, like a memorabilia coin on uh, AliExpress. And it's a picture of President Trump. It's got the American flag and all that. And I put that up, and we're selling those. And I'll tell you something I did. This is a crazy idea, but I want you guys to see how crazy things work. One of the upsells for the Trump coin is an actual um, uh, written, nice, pretty PDF we did of his speech. Okay, so this is a PDF. Understand this costs us zero, zero. And we did a PDF of a speech, and it's got the presidential seal at the top, and it's got you know this, the, the speech and real fancy script writing. And we sell that as an upsell for $6.95. And guess what that cost me? Nothing, because that speech is online. You can get it anywhere you want. But, you know, people want that. And, you know, I just put a little sales pitch on it and say, you can be part of history. You can have this printed out. Um, <laughs> Mark says he wants a Trump coin. I'll get you one, Mark. It's pretty cool, actually. They're pretty neat looking. Um, and I, I wish I could pull that ad up now and show it. Is it possible, Jessica, you could find that Trump coin ad? We could throw it to people. Um, yeah, she's going to look at that real quick. But the, the, the Trump coin ad is awesome. Um, but, you know, that's a novelty thing, right? Uh, and and I don't sell that Trump coin to make any money at Trump coins because I, I think we sell them for $6.95. They're free plus shipping. And the coin itself on AliExpress, you could probably look it up right now, is like $1, $1.42. Um, and yeah, we make a little bit of profit. You got to ship it and all that good stuff. But what I do is the reason I'm marketing that Trump coin is what do I know about somebody who wants a Trump coin? Here's what I know. I know they're conservative. I know they probably voted for Trump. I know that, you know, they're probably for gun rights. See, that Trump coin represents a lot. And if they're all those things, here's what else I know. They buy survival food. And since we sell survival food, putting that Trump coin out there is like bait. It's saying, hey, if you buy this coin, I know you're going to buy my food. So the average person that buys anything from us over the next six months will spend um, 300 and some odd dollars. I just lost my screen there. Oh, she's pulled up. this. There it is. There it is. Okay, let me show you guys this. This is awesome. All right. So this is the Trump coin. Do you guys see that? If you, if you see it, put in the comments, you can see it because I can't always tell what you guys can see. Uh, just type in there. Yes, I can see it. And I'll go through this for you real quick. Can you guys see the Trump coin? Hello. Yeah. Okay, everybody can see it. Very cool. I see it. Very cool. Okay, so look at this. Off to the right. Now, keep in mind, this cost me $1.42 plus shipping. Uh, it's a coin, okay? And it says, I'm only giving away 229 Trump collector gold coins, only 10 per person. Now, this is a really funny thing. Uh, when you go to the sales page for this and you click on it, you can buy one, five, or we limit you to 10. 
Um, and, you know, we haven't run this ad that long, but I promise you the majority of the people are going to buy 10 of these because we told them they can't buy more, uh, which is funny. Now, in the ad, if you look off to the top right, guys, and these are real ads we're running. So I'm not I'm not giving you something. If you look at the date, it says December 15th. I'm not giving you something that we don't do ourselves. These things work. You just got to put them into practice. But if you notice, um, uh, hang on one second here. Uh, he lowered our business. Yeah. <laughs> if you sell survival food, yeah, he did it a little bit because they're not scared of uh, him taking away your guns. But, you know, this is just plain old coin, but you got to sell it. A lot of people think if it's a really cheap item and you're doing free plus shipping, then you don't have to say anything about it. Nothing could be further from the truth. You have to really describe it and make it into a big deal. Uh, along with this, we give a free downloadable PDF. We give all kinds of stuff. And it's only $6.95. Um, it's top craftsmanship. It's a gold coin. It's solid stainless steel. It's classic red, white, and blue. I put the word classic in there. I don't know if that's classic or not, but that's what I put there. Uh, one and a half inch dynam uh, di diameter. Make sure you always put the measurements of everything. A quarter inch thick, limited number available. Grab yours here. Um, so then when they click on that link, it's going to take them. Um, yeah, you want to go ahead and click on that? We'll show on that page. All right, so we're going to go to that page now, guys, so you can see it. There is the limited edition 45th President Collectible Trump Coin. So can everybody see that page there? Because I know this thing lags a little bit. I want to walk you through it and show you actual ads so you can see what's going on. Just type in that it. box. You can see it? Cool. All right, so now what we do here is kind of cool because we want people to get this coin, but we know that some people will not follow through, okay? So, Jessica, if you could click that check for availability thing there. Now, what it does here, and that's an old address of mine, not, not uh, my current one, but what that does here, it says click to continue. So, what it does on this page here is it grabs their email, and as soon as it grabs their email, it tags this person, and it says Trump coin interested, okay? So, if you would click through one more time, Jessica. And then it goes to the actual sales page. Now, right here, this is what I was telling you, um, what we do, can you scroll up just a little bit? Okay, so here they're gonna have to put in their name and address and all that, and they have a choice of one coin for $6.95, five coins, they get a little bit of a discount for $32.50, or the best deal, 10 coins for $5.95 each. Uh, and if you notice, I've highlighted that best deal. Now, here's the trick thing to this page. Remember on the last page where I said, you know, put in your email address here, to check for availability. What happens at that point is that they get tagged that they were interested in this coin. If they do not complete this sale, I have an email that goes out to them two hours later that says, hey, you said you were interested in this coin, we only got a few left, go back to this link. And I send them three emails after that. Those three emails will grab even more sales for me because maybe the person got busy, maybe they didn't have their credit card. You know, maybe the kids interrupted them. You know, what anything could have happened where they didn't complete the sale. So we follow up. Now she's scrolling there. Now down at the bottom, it says what? One time offer, get the official unedited Trump presidential inaugural speech. Well, unedited means I copied and pasted it. Okay. So <laughs> it's designed in a beautiful font. Yeah, I found a beautiful font. And uh, with the presidential seal, I also found that online and put it on the PDF. Uh, complete with Donald J. Trump's signature at the bottom. I also found that online. There's his signature. Uh, this priceless PDF of his speech can be added for only $4.95. You can print this out and frame it on the wall to remember the historic moment in time. Now, that may sound really funny to you guys, but we sold these last night. Okay, people bought his speech from me in a PDF form, and it cost me nothing. So you've got to be a little bit creative. Do you think that's funny, uh, uh, Alex? <laughs> Yeah, I, I love it. I think uh, great idea. The whole so that, thing. That's, that's my upsell there for this coin. Now, when you follow through and you buy this coin, it takes you to another page that offers you survival food. Okay. And then if you don't buy that, it takes you to a downsell that offers you my book on survival food. So, you know, it's not just this initial sale. A lot of you guys are thinking, well, gosh, I, I didn't make any money on my, you know, uh, free plus shipping, but I don't care about that. I just care about getting that customer into the funnel. And I also know over the next six months, they're gonna spend $320. So does that answer some questions on some of these ads for you guys? Mark says, that's awesome. Yeah, it is, it's fun. And it, it's fun coming up with this stuff. You know, sit down and look at your pages and say, what could I offer as an upsell that is a digital thing like this speech um, that cost me nothing? 
that literally cost me nothing. And I can run this for as long as he's a president, you know? So uh, I've got at least four years going, though some people may argue with that. They say he's not going to make it. I don't know. The point is, it's a way to make money, okay? And that's what you guys are here for. So we've had a really good group today. I am going to, um, Avar says, this is great. <laughs> yeah, this is funny, isn't it? Uh, I am going to post this in the members area. Uh, and I really appreciate, um, we had some guests here today. So you guys may want to say hi, guest. Uh, you guys who are actual VIP members of the DCA, we did allow um, some extra people in. We opened up 50 spots um, for people who just kind of want to see what you guys do behind the scene. Um, and you've seen some ads. You see that they work. You see what's going on. Uh, just try this stuff. And, and you know, all of you know that if you post a Guys, so if you're a guest here today, you don't have access to that. But if you if you are a member in here today, post in that group. Ask us what you want. We'll help you out. That's what we're here for. Um, we're going to go, you know, as far as we need to go to help you be successful. Because if you're successful, we're going to be successful, obviously. So I, I thank everybody today. Uh, Alex, do you got anything to add? You came up with this, the whole idea, and I think. Uh... You guys should not be afraid to get creative. Um, just, you know, take a moment, think about what you're doing, and feel free to get creative because uh, so that can help. Yep. Jessica, any, anything for the guys out there? She had to turn on her mic. Yeah. Um, no, I think you covered everything, but um, yeah, the feedback, I'm going to cut my mic off. This feedback was bad. Okay, yeah, sometimes you get a little bit of feedback. Okay, guys, I appreciate a really great session today. You guys were a lot of fun. You had a lot of great questions. If you have any more, oh, hey, Avar, happy holidays and Merry Christmas and happy Hanukkah and happy Kwanzaa and everything else you got going on. You know, I think in the U.S. we kind of ruined the holidays because we're afraid to say it. Everybody can have a different holiday going on and we can actually call it what it is. And that's cool. We could do that, right? So you know, whatever you're celebrating out there, you know, uh, we wish you a happy whatever that is. I don't want it to just stick in the word holidays because that, I think that kind of uh, waters down whatever you believe in. And I don't want to do that to you. So have a great uh, season. Mark says Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mark. Merry Christmas to you, too. And we will see you at the next uh, coaching call. And you guys enjoy your time off if you're taking it. And don't take too much time off. Go to work, too. Okay. I will see you guys later. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.